Welcome to Channel 7, West Virginia's top news station. Go check my story. On Snapchat, yes. A uh, good day here in Charleston, West Virginia. Top story is on the proposal of the city of Fairmont to build a modular chemical plant to produce pesticides and insecticides. A nuclear power plant, huh? Yeah. Hmm. I don't think that'd be in Fairmont's best interest to get a power plant. I couldn't agree more. There would be a lot of controversy. I feel like a more ne more negative than positive. Definitely more negative than positive. Considering, do you remember the gas tragedy in India back in December 1984? I mean, how could I forget such a tragedy? That was huge. I mean, yeah, the alarming number of 3,787 deaths. My God. And the initial killer of all those people was a simple chemical called methyl isotate. Does that sound harming to you at all? I swear to God, it doesn't sound friendly. Not one bit, I would agree. Methyl isotate is a strong, highly flammable liquid that evaporates mm. quickly when exposed to air. Huh. Mm -hmm. And it has a very strong odor and it is used for production of pesticides and polyurethane from plastics and other whatnots. Dangerous. Well, I will do that and we'll get back to you after this break. The worst part about methyl isotate is that there is not enough information about what it can do huh. to you huh. and your kids. And my kids? And the next generation after that. I would want to know. I would want to know too. There's not enough information. I know. Mm. The reason we don't have enough information on what happens after the explosions and how it can affect us is because it hasn't happened many times before. Mm. And we don't have a ground knowledge of what it can do to our people. And you know, that makes sense. If, and I feel like the people of Fairmont can really... Charleston, West Virginia, yes. Yes, can really take that into consideration when yeah. thinking of whether or not they should put this power plant in their situation. So we'll get back to you on that after this commercial break. We have some questions from some of our fans that we've just received some fan mail from, asking, is the risk of getting sick higher for the workers or for the community residents? So the answer to that question would be yes. Ultimately, yes. yes. However. Yeah, um, however, yeah. <laughs> Unless fires or some sort of spill, workers are really not exposed to it, but it can get into the water. Mm -hmm. and which, which can contaminate the water and affect children or those who are already ill. Which, you know, is something that Fairmont, again, should really, really think about really if they're putting definitely. it in a neighborhood. Definitely. Near a neighborhood. So... I think that wraps yeah, up our Charleston, stories. Yeah, West Virginia, if you have any other further comments or questions about the Fairmont chemical plant... Email us at channel7news.org slash... Get your news now. And feel free to stop by the uh, student, or not student, <laughs> the council, the city council meeting this Thursday. Great. Have a good day, Charleston. And uh, remember, smile. Smile. Oh, we're on the air. Oh. <laughs> um. No. <laughs> um. Huh. Welcome to Channel 7. <laughs> Today's top story is on the proposal of the city's, the city council's. <laughs> <laughs> we were close. Good try. Good. Proposal of the city of Fairmont to build a. <laughs> Modular. <laughs> Today's top story is on the proposal of the city of Fairmont to build a modular <laughs> <laughs> seven deaths. My God! My golly's right! <laughs> My God! All these people was a simple chemical called methyl incisinidate. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. You, you pronounced know. that way wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I wasn't a chem major, so I don't know what half that stuff means. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Never. Take 77. I'm just saying random numbers. 
The reason it has such a... Wait, I don't know what I was gonna say, sorry. <coughs> the reason. No. So we'll get back to you. Okay. Do the cameras over here. Uh, is the risk of getting sicker higher for workers than for community residents? Great question. That's a really I great question. No, 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 that was good. Are you? Right, and then I. No, no, so restart the whole thing. <laughs> Welcome back. Answers say that yes, exposure to community. Ex oh, I didn't even read this. Comments, questions at the city council. Bills, and Josie's walking behind us. <laughs> <on the set. laughs> Special guest appearance, Josie White. Can Highly flammable liquid that evaporates quickly when exposed to air. Yes, that would not be good for citizens. And I no. believe there's a lot of air in India, so that would be highly dangerous. No wonder it was a big explosion. 